Pisces, this is your weekly reading. Let's see what we have for you. We already have the Six of Cups. There, there is a connection here that is sent to you from the divine to help you with a past situation. This can be a connection that never ended the way it should have been. Like there is a contract with someone here that you haven't completed the way it should have been completed. I feel like you could be waiting on this connection to come to life again. Or hoping. There's a lot of weight on your part. I feel like you're waiting for the right time to strike in LA. But the like you're not seeing this moment or this opportunity come your way to strike. You feel strongly about this person. But you also know that there are things need to be changing for this connection to work or for this connection to dissolve as it should. Because I see here that you came in each other's lives for a reason. There is a contract that you need to fulfill. Whether this is for long term or short term, doesn't matter. You still have to fulfill this contract. You have made a promise before you came to this life. So you need to fulfill that promise. There will be things and obstacles to overcome. And you will have to stand your ground. If you do, you will manifest a good ending for this. And it could be long term. Okay, what else? What else for Pisces? There's something about learning from your surroundings, following the fire. It was like the, the soul fire, following that, experiencing different things. Because that will bring awareness to you. Or increase your knowledge. You will have downloads from these followings. You need to follow that spark that's within you when it comes to things that are coming in your life that you usually don't notice or give attention to. <clears throat> That's a different energy. Let's see. Someone here is watching you. They're watching you glow. And they're fantasizing about you. They, they want to know more about you. Or they want to know more of what you're up to. This person is of power. They have a lot of power, but they don't use any against you or on you. This person sees that you are not ready, whatever that means. They see you as not fully mature. But they do see that you have potential to mature, if that helps. You know, so this person, I don't know, they look down on you. But they also watch you. So I don't know, why do, do, you, why do you need to look down on someone and then watch them? You must be intrigued, right? Oh, 
they have love for you. Well, it makes sense, you know, even if they think you're, you're a bit childish, they still have feelings for you. <clears throat> you are on their mind a lot. This person could be in your life, but they're playing it cool. They're pretending that, you know, like, uh, I'm a player or something of that sort. There's something about them not taking things seriously. But they are when it comes to you. They are so passionate about you. But they would rather hide it or would rather show their masculine instead of their feminine or vice versa. You know what I mean? They're trying to not show you their soft spot for you. <clears throat> I will see you soon.